since I, I did prepare for this speech, I will take my five minutes now. Um, I come from Finland, University of Tampere, which is uh, one of three universities that offer graduate studies, studies in information sciences in, in Finland. The other two, one of those is, uh, is only offering Swedish courses, and the other one is uh, much smaller than our, our school, so we are the largest school for information sciences in Finland, and the best, if I may. Um, I won't go into that yet. Uh, I know you've already read my paper, so I won't go into detail on that, so I'll um, skip to the discussion point, uh, but I will tell you a little. I work as an education manager and I, I have information and, and I, I describe that in my paper about um, how our students have uh, found um, employment after, after uh, 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 graduating and um, we have about 10 years uh, time we have the, the information collected and uh, it shows very clearly that uh, job positions are very uh, many and the job titles are very many which uh, implies that uh, it, it really has widened, widened the, the scope where uh, LIS professionals can uh, find, find their in employment. Uh, I also run a project that arranges uh, uh, train courses for LIS professionals who, who are already uh, working in libraries. So we know the training needs of, of those people working already in the field. And uh, the evidence seems to be very much the same. The training needs are very um, many. It's not only just mm -hmm. updating your uh, your um, knowledge. It's not only updating your uh, university uh, courses. It's much more. We have we have uh, arranged uh, training courses for library staff in, in uh, video making, um, music. Uh, digital photography, dig digital storytelling, uh, uh, there, are, there are a lot of uh, different topics and it just shows the, the, uh, what kind of uh, things librarians have to tackle with in, in their everyday life. They have, they have so many different training needs. So from this I, I, I will jump to this, this is the only slide that has text. So. We've heard about change today and during the IFLA conference now and, and last conferences we've heard a lot about change and of course change is evident. It's not only libraries and it's not only LIS uh, professionals that face the change. So it, it, it just prevails. Um, but what I would like to hear, hear say, uh, uh, kind of point out is that uh, if, if there, it's not the libraries that change, and therefore the, the uh, LIS professionals, the role of librarians change. It's really that people entering the field are, are changing, and, and uh, we are seeing a new kind of professionals with uh, different uh, knowledge, know-how, skills, ambition, etc. So. It's, it's really a bottom-up change. People are changing, therefore the organizations where they work are also changing. And that has an impact in, in, in their um, um, society. Uh, and the impact here is really what, what I'd like to uh, stress out. It's, it's not just an impact in the way library works. It's not just an impact on, on uh, books and collections and, and, and such. It's really about impact on, on what is the role of library in the community and, and uh, that really is, is broad in, in a way that uh, uh, libraries, librarians are not just there for libraries and, and books and, and, and uh, collections and such. They are really for the, the community that surrounds it and therefore there is really a um, big, uh, big um, uh, the, the meaning for their work. And this I will 
come, come to my, uh, my uh, topic, the essence of, of uh, LIS professionals. It really is about the skills and knowledge and know-how, as I said, but more about the enthusiasm, motivation,